Welcome to another episode of Art Theater, or Design Theater. Today we're going to be looking at Alex Gray. He is uh, best known for these really psychedelic paintings that he's done. Uh, he used to he used to do like some Tool album covers. I believe he did Lateralis. He also cooperate. He also uh, collaborated with them on their music videos for Parabola, and then I think a couple others as well. And um, I've always been a huge fan of his work. Uh, it's very, very strongly inspired by psychedelic experiences that he's had. Um, I know he's taken like DMT and mushrooms and LSD. These these experiences uh, that he's had, he's has been able to really capture that feeling of a taken a psychedelic. If you've ever taken a psychedelic before, then you know what I mean, because it's instantly recognizable whenever it is that you look at his art. That's what it is that he's portraying. portraying. So, I'm going to start with this one. Uh, this looks like a portrait of him and his wife. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's just incredibly beautiful work, you know. Like, he has this way of depicting he has this way of depicting this, these kind of radiant waves of love that is coming from the center of, of these two characters here. It almost feels like what it is, what it is that you would see like on the side of a temple wall or something along those lines. Like it's very intricately designed, right? He does a really good job with the colors. He seems to be moving from. He seems to be moving from cool colors to, to some warmer colors here, and then he has cooler colors in the background. <clears throat> yeah, really fantastic work, and I mean, like his understanding of anatomy, is so strong. I believe he. I believe he used to, uh, actually go to a morgue and draw dead bodies in order to actually understand the anatomy better and it really comes through in his work like he has a very deep understanding of uh, the physical anatomy of the human being I think I'm assuming this is him with his daughter you know he has this way of portraying the portraying the download of information From his mind into the, the daughter's mind. Very beautiful. I love his work because it it has this combination of incredible uh, actual talent and attention to detail. You can tell he really loses himself in his paintings. But you can also see that there's a lot of playfulness in his work as well. Yeah, this is one of the Tool album covers. I mean, this is, it's so psychedelic. You know, we see as, as the figures in the background, as they go into the background, they go into cooler colors. They fall into like this greener color, right? As the, what's closest to us is like this red color, these warm colors. So he's communicating that warmth is closer to us, and then the green is, or the cooler colors are further away from us. So there's kind of like an atmospheric perspective that he's creating here with these colors. And I just really love this. The, the amount of detail that he had to get in order for these shapes to all look similar to one another. You, know, you can tell he put a lot of time. And he does a really good job of rendering these forms and how these forms change under light. It's really beautiful. So 
another really beautiful one by him. This is the cover of uh, a book it is that I read called DMT, The Spirit Molecule. If you ever get a chance, I would highly recommend uh, that you check out this book. Yeah, I think it was about the first, I think it was about the first DMT studies that were done in the United States by a medical professional. And uh, if, if you don't know what DMT is, then DMT is, is this super potent psychedelic that is actually created in our brain. And it seems that we secrete this chemical whenever it is that we die or whenever it is we dream. Um, but you can also take it as a drug. And um, I, don't, I don't remember exactly how it is that they extract the drug. But anyway, uh, people that have taken it, they've all had the same experience. They've all had the same experience of feeling like they're dying and they're being liberated into something else, this, this more global sense of consciousness. And, and that's really what he communicates with this painting so well. He communicates this sense of like the, uh, the infinite consciousness that all of our consciousness belongs to. You know, it's somebody who is returning to the source, and it's just it's just so beautiful. I think I got one or two more on here, and then I'll go ahead and close this out. And this is like his. This is an inner being. Um, I love. I love how fractal all of the all of the shapes here are. You know, each one of these is is, uh, is a fractal, a fractal image of the eye above it. I think he's taking some of his work and turning them into fractals. And we we can end it with this one. Yeah, I mean this one is very relevant. You know, we have on the one side you know, beautiful nature, and then on the other we have this uh, burnt, destroyed earth that we seem to be creating. And it is. His vision of, of this hellscape is uh, it's pretty terrifying. But anyway, yeah, I'll go ahead and close this out for today. Tomorrow, I will be looking at H.R. Geiger. This H.R. Geiger and Alex, Alex Gray, they're kind of like two sides of the same coin. Um, I, I feel like those artists go well together, and I do believe that they knew each other. So uh, feel free to like and subscribe and come back tomorrow, and, and we'll take a look at H.R. Geiger. Thanks.